How is it going everyone? My name is Joel Sky and today we'll be showing off some cool ass Sableye V. I really really love this card since of this crazy class attack. It's so conditional but it's so so strong if you combine it very well with other cards. It's so amazing. I love it. It's a really nice card. I love Sableye as well. I used to have uh, an episode on DVD and I, I kept watching it. It was a little bit freaky because Sableye just licks whatever the fuck he wants but He's a really weird, weird Pokemon, but I love him. He has a cool charm to him. Anyway, I'm very happy to have V-Card for him. And Crazy Claws is just a great attack. It's so conditional. And a little bit too underplayed, to be honest. It could be a meta deck as well, you know? So what I choose to do here is combine it with a Weezing, of course, since I use this Weezing a lot. I've used it in like two decks already. Um, so this Weezing here, uh, the Dungeon Gas is like, or Beetle V Max, but it's not uh, once during your turn, it's between turns. Plus, it only does it on benched. Wait, is it benched? No, in each of my opponent's basic Pokemon, sorry. So, only the basic ones. So, yeah, do it before they evolve. But, yeah, what you do is with this one, you, for example, have something in lead, and then that dies. You get this wheezing in, in extra spot, everyone gets one damage. And then you use your splatter splattering sludge and do it again one damage on everyone. And then you have 40 damage on everyone, which means you will do 250 damage with Sableye. But that's not enough, of course. So once this Weezing dies, you want another Weezing on your bench. You put that, that one in the active spot first. And then you do one damage again to everyone, which means you will be doing 310 damage to everyone with Sableye. And then you switch out into that save lie and then there you have a, an active a save lie you can keep charging save lies with the um, turbo patches and then of course we got this spirit tomb here it's a great starter to uh, it's a great pokemon to, to start off with it does lots of damage just for one price it's just a really big kicker it's a great starter it's a good uh, offensive pokemon you can use it against deciduous to knock them all out it's great uh, it's a really versatile card, I love him. So yeah, since he charges himself up, and can do massive damage once you charge him up. I also use four of these Cape of Toughnesses, because Sableye has only 170 HP, so that makes a 220 uh, HP Pokemon. So that's a little bit meh, it's a bit better. And then you've got, of course, for Spirit Tomb, 110 HP. So that means you can do over 300 and uh, you can do 310 damage as well with Spirit Tomb if you completely charge him up, which will take 10 turns, <laughs> just so you know. But yeah, uh, it's a, it's something that can happen. It's also just to make sure that your Spirit Tomb doesn't die from any bench damage, since bench uh, sniping does not do that much damage most of the time. So yeah, that's a very good card. Um, so yeah, this is the whole idea of the deck. Get Weezing in active spots, do damage to everyone. And perhaps you KO some small poke Pokemon, like a Jirachi or whatever the hell. Just do damage to everyone. And then they will be lowered to a table like can finish everyone off. And you have of course Spirit Tomb to finish other Pokemon off. You use them, you, you are likely more to use Spirit Tomb and Sableye for the big Pokemon. But sometimes, yeah, they don't run big Pokemon. And it's really risky to get a Sableye V in the front. Because then you'll, you will be giving away two prizes for a little... Or that, not, not, not that many HP, so yeah, it's uh, it's a little risky. So yeah, that's why I have this Spirit Tomb here. It's, uh, you don't lose that much, and yeah, you you only lose one energy as well. It's great, it's great. And then of course we have a, a Crobat V and a Dene V uh, GX. So these big these Pokemon are here in case you have a dead hand, bad hand, or you just want extra draw in your turn. And of course you get your uh, quick ball, oh, let me change this quickly. We need more shine, of shiny, shiny, yeah, we need more shine. So yeah, um, you get them with the quick ball and you get more draw that way. That's the, that's the whole idea. Uh, and then of course the, the regular things that we use in standard. Three evolution incense for of course our weezings, we use a 4-4 four, four line of them. Uh, and then four quick ball, because it's important to get your basics out very important plus this, these are basically draw it's because of your crowbat v and your dead energy x i could put two of them in here but that seems too much i don't really need that much draw in there plus i really can't afford to discard that many cards in here i don't have that many copies so yeah and i don't have any 
um, recycle way to get my wheezings or whatever the hell back because I don't really need to, you know. Uh, then we have four switches, of course, to get our wheezing out of the active spot or to get our Sableye out of the active spot to keep doing damage to new Pokemon or just maybe KOing everyone with the wheezing. So yeah, that's the whole idea of that, it's four switches. And of course, four turbo patches to charge your Sableye, to charge your Spiritomb, to maybe even charge your coughing or even <laughs> your Crobat V if that's uh, what you want to do. So yeah, that's a very good card. Um, yeah, you really need it in here. Two copies of Dark City. I only have two copies, plus it's not that necessary. Um, these these cards here are very good to get your Sable out of the active spot to do damage with Weezing, and then later on you can switch out with Weezing, so you don't have to use all your four switches just to get these Weezings and Sableyes out of the active spot. Um, and it's also just good to counter other stadiums. And then of course we run the regular two bosses all in this deck. A uh, very good card to snipe off the attack teams, the V-Maxes, every single thing that they have. Uh, there's a lot of prizes. Just snipe them off with the boss sword and Sableye. And then we run a Cosma and a Hala attack team. Um, the reason for this is since we run four Cave of Toughnesses, four Twin Energies. And then of course we run a Stadium, Dark City. So it's a good card to get all these things out. It's very important to get your Twin Energy for your Weezing. Because that's just way more efficient than getting two darkness energies on your wheezing. But I mean, either, either way, you can do it. And then we run four Marnies. It's got hand disturbs, it's got draw, it's everything you need in a deck. So it's a good card. Um, and we have four of them. Then we also run two or four uh, Professor's Research. I found that you have, you need all these this draw cards just to make sure your turn is good. Because you really don't want to be sitting with that hand in one of the turns. That would be devastating. And then we run, of course, four Cape of Toughness, because all these Pokemon are very weak on their own. Even Weezing for a stage 1, 220 HP is not much. But then again, then again, it's really just like, it's like a bomb you just throw away. Uh, yeah, so that's why it's here. And then four Twin Energies, and nine Darkness Energies to fill out your deck with 60 cards. So we run a total of 50 Pokemon, 15 Pokemon. 32 trainers and 13 energies. This is the mostly what you will find in my decks in standard Like uh, a little bit above the 30 trainers Something above the 10 energies and something above the, the 30 Pokemon. It's something like that all the time with me <laughs> So yeah, I think I have my way of building my decks again, I guess All right, so this was the deck uh, and uh, let's see how it does in standard ladder All right, so our first match of today I'm really curious as to what we will find here in the ladder for today's two matches. As always, I will try to play two matches. The first two that I play will come in the video. And as I really just draw nothing. Okay, so we got a good, good coughing. That's a good start. But if I do, um, if I do that, then I will mention it because it's not fair to, to, to like hide away bad matches. So I see dolls and I see boss and I see quick ball and, and it's okay. So it's basically a star deck uh, it seems that plays Sashin. Seems like that. Ooh, we got a, a Weezing. Yeah, that, there's a Sashin. Okay, we got a Spirit Tomb. Let's put the damage count onto him. And let's put this energy onto the, the coffin. Yeah. Uh, by the way, just so you know, basic, basic uh, dark energy uh, Pokemon only in play. Have no retreat cost, so it's not um, linked to the energy attached to the Pokemon. If that was something you were wondering, um, okay. So if I play this, and then the crow parts, then I have four cards in my hand, which is not ideal. I don't want to draw two cards with crow parts, so I'm gonna leave it like this. Um, I'm very glad that this this metal here does not resist any psychic. It's only resist grass, which is something good. Because that's something with Weezing very annoying if they have resistance. Of course, that does not apply for the for the benched Pokemon. Uh, another thing, <laughs> all these dolls are just will be devastated by a Weezing. That's gonna be funny. Okay, what I'm going to do is uh, put down this one. I uh, get the Spirit Tomb charged up, and I will not play this pros Professor's Research. I do not want to throw away these two um, Turbo Patches. Fuck, <laughs> well I have to do it now. 
I suppose I don't have choice. I need to get Pokemon in play. Oh well, it was worth a try. Um, I will attach this one here. And I will try and... Okay, now, now I'm seeing here that I only have... Okay, I'm gonna keep this quick ball. I'm not gonna use it. I will throw away this energy as well. To get a Satan... Okay, no, uh, I'm gonna get another coughing with this. Try and get two heads for this. Great, so that's all our Tower Patches already. So yeah, I'm gonna put this one there. This is important for our... Um, for these um, Poké Dolls. And now I will keep this. I will, I will, you know what, actually no. We will get it then and get another six cards in our hands. So yeah, too bad I played the Crowbat, it was not a good idea, but to be honest, but yeah. Okay, so we got a Sableye as well. So yeah, we did charge this coughing, but that's that's alright. Okay, let's do... Wait, uh, he has this metal goggles, but that's alright. Let's do 70 damage with Sableye. So he will knock out this Zashin. Oof, okay, so he's gonna knock out the Sableye V, which is actually good. I don't mind that. I would rather have him get knock out save life he than the spirit tomb or the uh, wheezy. All right, so that's bye bye doll, bye bye doll, yeah. Rip the doll. Okay, what I will do now is attach this and get damage onto the spirit tomb. So now we do not have another basic energy in our hands but that uh, he does not know he doesn't know that so well I, I think I still have to use my spirit swim to attack I don't really have a choice I mean 20 damage is not enough but that's a bye bye doll which is good he's not playing anything else okay that's a that's a Samazenta V so far this reduced damage is not helping us much Oh, okay. He is going for another attack. Okay. Will he use a boss? Does he have another boss? That's our Dark City removal. And he uses uh, Research. Okay, okay. So he has got some two Steel Energies in his discard. That's another doll. And a Luke Metal. Okay, interesting. This one does resist Psychic. And this one also um, Grass. Just looking it up. Be sure. Not sure will he switch. Okay. So he goes for this knockout. We do not know what we will top deck. Could be a switch, could be anything else. Uh it could even be an energy. Huh. I think I'm, I want to take care of all these other Pokemon, yeah. So it's better to get this coughing uh out there. Yeah, okay, so our top deck is really bad. So what I will do is I'm gonna play this to turn out my deck to get a to make sure I get an energy next turn. So how much was prized actually? I haven't checked that. So we have three in our deck still. While there are two in the discard and one, two, three in play. So that means all the energies are actually in game. They are not in price, that's, that's good. So yeah, um, I just attached the table with the turbo patch, because I could. Okay, we got three damage counters onto this session. Oh yeah, and when they attach this core goals, they will prevent all the damage. So we'll have to use the spirit tomb to get rid of this Luke metal. Yep. So what I'm thinking is that he will use it's a bad matchup for us since he has so many damage preventing Pokemon. I mean, um, items and tools. Okay, so Spirit Tomb will come out and I think he will boss out the Sable IV, so it's pretty much game. Yeah, couldn't do much. <laughs> My damage output was way too low each turn. Another one, yeah, I don't even think I can pull anything else out of it. Okay, let's just 
do damage with this. He is saying that I'm having trouble. So yeah, we do some damage. And now everything is damaged, but we don't have any power to stop him from killing our Sableye. Or he just heals everything up, which is also another possibility. Yeah. Now that's an unfortunate first match, lads, but I mean, it is what it is, you know? This is what, this is what the ladder looks like. And these are the reasons why Sable IV, for example, is not that popular. I think we can't even get a knockout on this one. That's, no, that's not even enough to get a KO. And we don't have the energy, so yeah, that's a good game, I suppose. Put a trainer card. Let's just get this one out. We don't have any options. <laughs> All he needs is a switch, and there it is. And that's bye bye game. Oh, ah, good game. You have a good day. Oh. In Magic Gathering, you can actually say something when you talk. <laughs> oh boy. Alright, so yeah, that was a very bad matchup for us. I think I made some mistakes as well. I think I could have prevented the loss. That's pretty sad, to be honest. Um, but yeah. I mean, it is what it is. His deck seems a little solid, but also a little meh. But hey. So yeah, this was uh, this was our first match, lads. And uh, let's move on to the next one. Alright, our second match of today. Let's see how this one goes. So it seems okay. I can't really see what I, what kind of type he is. He's using worlds. Oh shit! This is really bad. <laughs> what is this start? Okay, I'm gonna use the crow bat since that's a little more useful later on in game because it does 80 damage in the one turn, but it poisons them, so it will do 90 once it again our turn. I think he will start off with the same kind of thing. No, he, had, he starts off with a ball turn, it's perfect. Okay, so we got a big hand with a lot of good stuff. I suppose we can do damage with the Crobat V, it's not that bad. So this seems like a peak around deck. Thank you for the money, I, I needed that. Now I hope you don't dead draw me since I have three of my monies and a Dedene in here. But we still got a lot of quick balls and a lot of professors research. There is a research and an energy. That's good, that's great. Perhaps the top deck uh, a coughing, please do. So he gets two Pika room, that's pretty weird. Okay. Just thin out the deck. So he's gonna charge up the Pika room, I suppose. Alright, good one. Yeah, it's a really bad start for us right now. <laughs> um, yeah. And we will use our professor's research to see what we can get. Okay, we still have nothing to get our basic Pokemon. What is this? Now, this is really unfortunate. Really, really, really bad. Well, good thing. Oh, wait, you know, we can still get a knockout. So, yeah, that's a good game. <laughs> well, um, you can skip this game. Wow. Um, this, is, uh, this is really, really sad. Wow. So, yeah, he's gonna get a knockout with Tag Ball, I suppose. He most likely has something like a switch. How can this be, man? How can we not have any basics? The only basics we have seen is the Denny Anchor about. <laughs> After a new chance, a money, and a professor's research, we still haven't found anything. So he gets this professor's research, he charges up the Pika room, and he goes for the bold storm. Mm -hmm. Wow, yeah, so that was a really, really bad match. <laughs> I don't like that one. Really don't. But yeah, up to the next match. <laughs> so our next match is something like grass, it seems. Could be a joke, could be uh, some trickery. Perhaps he is actually a fire deck. Who knows? Or like a water deck. Um, 
Okay, so this start here is actually pretty okay. We are going first, but am I worried that coughing will die? I am not sure. Hmm. I'm going for it. We'll see what happens. We'll see what he has as thought. If I see that he can actually knock me out, oh, maybe we can save our coughing. Okay, so he's, he has a real boom, so it's a really, so it's a real tag team grass deck. I think it's gonna be like a routed executor, which means our coughing is safe. But we got a backup coughing now, so that's good. So there's a routed executor. I think we might have a good chance on this one. I think we might have, might do. Okay, so this is our start. I'm pretty happy. We're not gonna show that we got anything like this. Well, I will do this. So we're not gonna show that we got an evolution instance. If you anyone, can, you know, if any one of you can actually hear what is going on in the background, I have no idea what it is. I think someone is working outside with a machine. Okay, so so he's going for an evolution. He has discarded one of his brilla booms, which is weird. I really hope he has another one in his deck, otherwise he's screwed. So, okay, he's gonna Marnie. So there goes our evolution incense. But the chance of us pulling another wheezing or coughing. Okay, we got two wheezings and a Dedene. This is an absolute great hand. One of the best hands we could ever imagine in this position. Okay, so it's Rillaboom B. So we use the routed executor to get the Grookey online to make it a Rillaboom. And then use the Rillaboom to get the Rillaboom V Max online and do damage. I see, I see. Well, unfortunately for you, you don't really need all of that. All you need is um, Calming Hurricane to KO my Pokemon. And I'm gonna use a Crobat. So we still do not have any. Okay, then I'm gonna charge this one. And ah, uh, this is really awkward. Uh, should I use the professor's research? Then I lose a Dedenne and a boss's order. That's something we really don't want. Okay, I think I see what I, what I want to do. I'm going to put the Riddle Boom in front. And now I will use... No, I will not. I will just use Flattering Sludge. Start doing damage to everyone. Alright, so... It's a little awkward for him. Oh my god, he has a switch. Alright, I was expected. So he's going for that healing now. Oh, that's, that hurts, that really hurts. But we should be fine, we got our spirit tomb ready. Uh. So yeah, he heals all of it up. Um, yeah, spirit tomb you go. I could have gone on with, um, with this wheezing, but I'm not sure. Okay, so what I could do right now is go for the Guzman Hala. Which I think I'll... No, I will not, actually. I'm going for this Professor's research. Okay, so we got another Weezing. We got a Dark City. We don't need our switch. We will get a Sableye. Alright. Good hand. Good, good hand. Okay, so... We will do a lot of damage on this routed executor, which will make him almost. Uh, I mean, it's impossible for him to actually heal up all of that. Um, and then the Sable I can KO this one. While at the same time, we have a good start by damaging the Riddle Boom and damaging Riddle Boom B for the Weezing. So if he KOs this Spirit Tomb, we can go for the Weezing. And we will very be very likely to. Get a switch. I'm curious. So we do 100 damage. 
which he will heal 30 off, so he has 70 HP. Or he uses uh, something like a Mallow Alana, which he will probably have, as he will be very lucky when playing against me. We will have to see. And by the way, sorry um, about the mic. So my mic is one that's uh, on the headset and I put it up so it's not in front of my mouth, so it's not too loud. Uh, and what happens then is that... Oh, it's gonna detach all the energy, okay. No problem. Uh, but what happens then is it slides down and I don't really see it or, or um, notice it. And that makes that uh, the video will be very loud <laughs> all the time. Okay, so he has a metal on Lana right now. He's gonna discard his whole hand? No, okay, that's what I thought. So he's going to get rid of this one energy. That's no problem, actually. So we've got an energy in our discard pile. Wait. Okay, so he doesn't even discard the energy right there. Right here. Okay, what I'm planning to do is get this wheezing in front. We can't, we can't even get an energy on our Sableye uh, manually, that's very sad, but I think we should be able to get it off, put it off, and no, we do not get what we need, we really do not get what we need, so all that we needed right now, oh man I get up again, right, okay I'm gonna switch into this crow pad actually, save myself. I don't have a quick ball or a thrower patch. That's unfortunate. But for now we're safe. He can't KO the Crowbat V. Unless he evolves into the Spillaboom. But then still he can't. He needs more than 3 energies because he does 100. He does 170 damage. And then plus 50 for each energy you discard this way. And you can discard up to 2 energies. Oh no, actually, wow, he, he can't, he can't. Okay, so he heals everything up from that um, Rowlet Executor. And he go, he's going to charge the Riddaboom up, okay. I think he's not even gonna uh, max evolve. I think he's just gonna stay like a Riddaboom. V. We should be safe. Unless he has another fucking switch. What is this? Oh my. Okay, no, never mind. He does just on this 50. I thought he was gonna go for the KO. Oh wait, no, he can't. Okay. So we're safe on that part. Um Okay, Weezing, you go up. Thank you for putting down this one. And I will not use the money because then I will give him four cards. Now he has that hand. What was that? <laughs> okay, that was a random laptop in the background. <laughs> okay, so all his Pokemon are in lethal range now. But he will heal 30 damage of it. I just realized. Man, we're re again in a tight spot. All this healing, Jesus. Yeah, okay, calm hurricanes, heal up. God damn. Okay, this laptop, please shut up. <laughs> okay, uh. So, the situation we're in right now, and damn, man, the laptop is annoying. Um, so we will get another coffin. My god. Now, that's what you get with a mom that doesn't know what to do with a laptop. Uh, we can do massive damage on this one because now, right now, we will only do 130, which is really not worth it. Yeah, sure. Let's go this way. I know, mate. I know you probably got something like a metal and Lana, eh? I swear, man, he will have it. Or it's gonna gust out the save lie. You know, he does not do that. To be 
fair, I'm still in a very bad position. Can't do much. Uh, yeah. Well played. Why is it so... It's so damn sad. To just lose three matches that you play. I, I just want to show off a deck. <laughs> but I hope everyone really sees the potential in the Sable IV. Uh, perhaps my deck is really bad, I don't know. Uh, it took, to me it seems like this deck could do it. Perhaps I'm just a bad player because I make a lot of mistakes or something. I don't know. But anyways, I'm very happy with the deck. I really like to play with it. It's, uh, it's a lot of fun. Even though I lose, it's fun. It's fun to play with. Spreading out the damage, doing massive damage to big opponents. He's really gonna save my ass. Ah, okay, never mind. <laughs> I thought it was gonna be in the kind and get the coughing instead. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, that was a good match. I like it. So this man, how, I wonder how many Mellow and Lana I run. One. He runs one Mellow and Lana. He runs one Mellow and Lana. This, see, this is why I'm... This is what my luck is like, man. Out of all things he can have. Oh, wait, wait. Yeah, no, no, no. He, he got the Mellow and Lana with attack call, which meant very guaranteed to get it unless it was prized so okay I know I see I see I see never mind my look is so very sad match to be honest but I still love this deck really really cool deck I hope you all enjoyed this video by the way and give it a like if you still believe that this deck could do something um, or the stable IV is just a nice card if you like it uh, and please subscribe for more of these kind of decks and I will see you all in the next video. Oh yeah, and uh, don't forget to men don't I forgot to mention um, we got a Discord server, and in that Discord server we run a lot of tournaments. So please go check it out, and we will do some interesting tournaments later on with prizes, of course. Uh, so yeah, if you're a deck builder, then please come come over and have some fun. I hope you all will enjoy your day further, and cheers! Thanks for watching, lads.